I've got a great little demonstration for you here where we can look at how induction works. So let's go ahead and get going. First of all, um, I've already got set up a little induction circuit here. Um, this is being fed by five volts and then it is oscillating it because we're going to need that to create a field and it's going out on this little coil right here. So I've got a, like I said, a great demonstration of what we can do with that. I've got these little cool devices. Um, I haven't figured out a good use for them yet. I'm going to be honest with you. I've just been playing around with them. If um, you think of something, please leave a comment because I would really like that feedback. So um, I'll show you one here kind of sideways. It's got a little coil on the bottom, and this is wound to be sympathetic with this coil here. And watch what it does. There we go. It's picking up the induction of this oscillating field that it's sitting in with that little coil and going ahead and lighting that light. Um, and the company that makes these has these in all kinds of different colors for different color LEDs. There's a white, another white. Here's a green, another green. And let's put one more in there. Oops, let's turn it. So I have these pointing up for a couple of reasons. There's one so the camera can see them really well, but it makes a difference where they are in the field. So watch what happens when I lift this up. The further away we get from the field being generated, the less bright the lights are going to be. And as we go down and we go up. Now this field is in um, three dimensional space. And let me show you how I can show you that. So when these two coils line up like this, it's quite bright and we can see that green LED. Watch what happens if I turn this at a 90 degree angle. We get a little something, but not anywhere near as bright as when it's like this. And that's because the coils um, are lined up with each other and they're right in each other's field. We can even get some light outside of the field as long as we're lined up the same. So some of you may have already jumped to this conclusion, but if you were curious that this is how wireless chargers work, 